just talking a little bit about privilege, uh, you, you've had the honor of of having lunch with uh, Nelson Mandela, and that yesterday was uh, Nelson Mandela Day. Like, I, I know you've written about it. Uh, can you just maybe speak a bit about that experience? Yeah, look, I I played rugby in a very difficult era. Um, I played in my in my first my first um, out, outside of school. Yeah, I I played my first let's call it mini test match at, at under twenty rugby or under nine. It was under twenty at the time, um, and we had a, we 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 went to a World Cup. I was I was the captain of that team. We went to a World Cup in France in nineteen ninety four, and um, we didn't have a national anthem. Because you know um, the stem was banned, and of course Sikilele wasn't there, you know. And Nelson Mandela played a big role in keeping the Springbok emblem, not making it a protest. All the other sporting codes are, are protests, but the Springboks are the Springboks, you know. And to to then in later years in 1994, Nelson Mandela was released, and and to then in 2009 be able you know be able to take my family my kids are very young that's the photo right up there you can see it there um that you know to take my family there spend some time with them and have the opportunity to just experience what an incredible person he was you know um now that's a real privilege you know i really even though it was a very difficult era and 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 we didn't the Springboks didn't do as well as we should have done at the time or as much as the the public expected us to do. Um, the one of the advantages was that he was still alive and he was still there and and I would get a phone call from him you know before a test match to say good luck for the test match and that was just a just a massive honor for me to to be able to be in that position at that time. My, I wrote a book called uh, the right the the right place at the wrong time. But if that was one reason to be the right place at the right time, then, you know, then then that was it. Yeah, but uh, I mean, he's he's just such an an amazing character. I can imagine that the presence that he holds is pretty great. Uh, I remember I, I actually I've I've lived overseas for a long time since I was nineteen, and I lived in the UK. But I went home, or I was actually home at the time that he died, um, and I was lucky enough to actually be in Joburg then. Uh, maybe lucky is not the right word, but I was, you know, I was there and um, we went to where his house was and, uh, you know, like it was just amazing. Like there was just this street full of like flowers, you know, and yeah. just full of people. And it was like a really kind of like beautiful, humbling experience yeah. just going, you know, like almost saying thank you. And then the other the other amazing thing, like in the African tradition, like rain means quite a lot, right? And I think they say like when it rains, that's that you almost like, it's almost the heavens accepting you in. And I don't know if you remember, but the day that of his funeral, it was like the biggest downpour we'd had like yeah. in ages. Yeah. And it was, I was like, wow, the the world is, is speaking to us there. Hey? <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Look, you know, you you meet certain people who think they're important and they they make you slightly uncomfortable because they really are very important people. Where as the day I, I met Nelson Mandela, he, he he shook my hand that, that specific day we had lunch with him. He he shook my hand and he said, "Why would a um, strapping young man like you come and visit?" an insignificant man like me. And I knew immediately what he was saying, because he could obviously see that I was quite nervous. He wanted to try and he wanted me to relax and, and to feel that I'm that it's, it's not this massive disparity between the two of us, you know. But just an incredible, humble guy and like you said, you know, an incredible privilege. Yeah, it's amazing. Like you read stories about him, like how he just like made people feel comfortable. You know, he would go into hotels and he would be, you know, be greeting the the guy at the door and the, the receptionist and that. And like, he just like really had this kind of way of making, you know, him feel like one of the people. And, and I think that was just yeah. such an amazing trait. 
Um, it's a great trait, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, absolutely.